Hey crafters, I'm Daniela with DD's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. For today's DIY, we will be making this beautiful art piece called A Hug from Jesus, inspired by the Etsy maker Paint House OZ. Hey crafters, for today's DIY, we will be making some DIYs part of the collab Our Father Who Is in Heaven, hosted by Arrows DIY. A lot of us might not have parents anymore or fathers and I know the month of June can be a little difficult for some of us whether it be that you never had a relationship with your father whether it be that you lost a father I don't know your situation but it might be difficult for you for me it's actually hard for two reasons actually now three but my father's death anniversary is in June so it makes it a little bit more difficult because it's so close to Father's Day and if you guys hear my dog Molly breathing really hard She's here next to me, so please don't mind her. Let me just show you my Molly because she's breathing so hard next to me. I think she wants to be in the video. Hey Molly, say hi to everyone. Say hi to our crafters. Hey baby, Molly. Molly girl. Hey girl. You wanna say hi to everyone? I just had to show her to you guys because she's just right here next to me looking at me with those puppy eyes so she wanted to say hi so as i was saying june is a little bit difficult for me because not only is it father's day and i miss my father every year but june 10th is his death anniversary when he did leave this earth to be with our heavenly father so it is a little difficult for me at times to remember him or miss him this video is a reminder to you that even though you might not have a relationship with your earthly father or whatever the reason may be there is somebody who loves you you. Our God, our Jesus, is always there to comfort us and He is our Father. So this DIY is a reminder to you that you are loved and only God, only Jesus can bring us that comfort, that peace that nobody else can bring. Another reason this month is so hard for me is not only did I lose my dad on the 10th, June 10th, which is a little bit before Father's Day, but this past week, June 4th, I did lose my baby boy, Balton. As you guys know, my baby boy, he was my fur baby. He was like my child. So not only was it hard because I lost my father, but I did lose my dad about 13 years ago. So it's very hard now that I have two dates to remember that will always stay in my heart. Whether we like to remember it or not, it's always there, but I have found comfort in my Jesus. I'm not gonna say that there hasn't been nights where sometimes we wanna lose that peace, but you know what? My reminder to you is that always, always reach out to a friend. Um, a friend always shows us their love, a furry, a furry friend which i have my baby girl molly that's always there for me as well a loved one um, somebody who can pray for you that's always a comfort and remember that jesus is always there when nobody else is when you go to sleep at night he is our comfort he is our peace so i wanted to take the time to share this with you because this diy is so special to me so significant and you will see why matthew eleven twenty eight says come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest if you are needing to find a rest today my reminder to you is find rest in our lord jesus christ let him hug you and hold you and only he will give you the peace that no one else and nothing else can also please don't forget to check out all of the playlist in the description below also check out the host arrows diy she is super sweet super nice and you're not going to want to miss her crafts and make sure to get inspired by all these awesome and friendly and great talented crafters it's all in the description below now with no further ado, let's jump right in and let's get crafty. Thank you for sticking around for that longer intro than usual, but now let's go ahead and get started guys. We got this design from Etsy maker Paint House OZ and we made it into a stencil on our Cricut Design Space. Now you guys, this does take a little bit of time because you do have to make each and every shape. And once you have that all done, we're going to go ahead and cut this with our Cricut maker. We're going to get the size that we need and we're going to go ahead and use the same method as we would our Cricut whenever we cut our vinyl. We're going to go ahead and cut each heat transfer vinyl in this case make sure you are using heat transfer vinyl for this particular diy because we are gonna be putting this on or sticking it on a canvas 
And for this particular project, we are going to be doing the layers of color so we can get the whole work of art done. And our Cricut is going to help us cut each shape and each color in the exact form. And then we're going to put together kind of like a little puzzle. Now we're going to be doing Jesus's robe, I guess you could say. And we're going to be using this lighter beige. And you guys, I am using the colors that I had at home. Um, I didn't have exactly the colors that I wanted, but I'm going to go ahead and just play around with what we have. Have. this is my husband's hands and my husband is so supportive you guys every time I have to do a DIY um, he does help me it's been a tough couple of days I'm not gonna lie since we did lose my baby boy a week ago but my husband's been so supportive and I think this particular collab was so great to work on because it is a reminder of God's comfort during difficult times and I really hope that it blesses you as much as this DIY has blessed me now moving along with our printing and cutting, we're going to be cutting some of the little lines that go above Jesus' head and we're going to be doing the two orange little curves or whatever you want to call it and we're going to go ahead and cut and we're going to print and we're going to weed. This is basically the process that we're going to be doing for each and every little shape. Now we are doing the skin, which is going to be kind of like in a brown, a light brown. And we're going to do the same thing, guys. So basically, this is the same concept over and over until we get all of our shapes cut with our Cricut. Now, as I told you guys earlier, I do not have all the colors that I wanted for this particular DIY, so I just used what I had. This is kind of more like a dark maroon, and it's okay because we're going to use it for Jesus's beard, hair, and um, the girl's hair as well. And in the end, it worked just fine. Um, if I were to do this project again, I would probably use like a darker brown, but it's okay, guys. We improvised and we used what we had. have all of our shapes printed out with our Cricut, the weeding process begins. So gently and just carefully go ahead and weed each and every shape. And as you can see, we are starting with Jesus's hair and the girl's hair as well. And we are doing this for each and every color you guys and what I like about this project is that it is gonna be vinyl and if you do want this same exact print like a print on a canvas you can order it and you can order it from paint house OZ which is where I did get inspired from this design she's actually the creator you can order prints from her or order just the actual print alone not on a canvas but just the print that way you can frame it or whatever but i decided to do it on a vinyl i was originally gonna paint it you guys but i decided to go this route just to see how it would look and my husband and i had been wanting to do this method for a while so this was a perfect opportunity to experiment and to see if this method worked
And once your weeding is done, the fun part begins. These are all of our shapes. They're all in little pieces and now we get to put them together like a puzzle and finally see our work of art. For this DIY, we're gonna be using our Cricut Easy Press. And we are gonna be using this canvas, which I had at home. It's a flat canvas. I actually didn't want this one. I wanted the one that has the wood in the back and the one that is fabric, but I didn't have it. So we're gonna use this. We've already passed a little lint roller on top to get any fuzz out the way. And we're gonna be starting with our first little shape, which is Jesus's robe. And we're gonna be using a setting of 350 at 30 seconds. Later, we did increase the time to 40 seconds, I believe, but this was the beginning to see if it was gonna work. So we did it, I guess, a second time, and the second time was perfect because 30 seconds was too little, but you guys just play around with your settings. Like I said, 40 seconds worked for us at 350. Now do keep in mind that the canvas that I am using is the flat, harder canvas. So if you do use the other canvas that is that one that has the wood in the bag and that is more fabric make sure you do put something harder in the back that way you have something you know hard whenever you are using your Cricut press we will be using a different canvas for a future DIY to show you how that works because I have seen a few crafters do that now here I am just removing the plastic off of the skin colors and now we're gonna do the girls little dress or whatever it is she's wearing and we're going to be using the gray for that 350 at 40 seconds and when i say i'm gonna be i mean we or my hubby is because this is my hubby's hands and you guys give him a shout out for doing an awesome job on this diy helping me make this diy and now we actually learned this method and we know that it is possible and once again i do want to use a different canvas for a future diy so you guys can see how it is possible to work on different canvases now i used this one because it is the one i had at home once again i am using the flat harder canvas you might see some little defects on the vinyl but once it cools off it'll look much better you guys and the ending result what I really loved about it is I was telling my husband that it kind of looks like leather on there it's really a cool effect so I really like this color because it really makes the whole painting come together and like I said I didn't have a dark brown but this maroon really makes it look really boho and it actually worked for us so I think it looks beautiful you guys you guys let me know what you think and let me know how it's coming along once again all those little bubbles it's all gonna just even out in the end so just be patient until you see the final product so please stick around did want to mention that if you see my husband going a little fast he's actually going a little bit slower when he uses the heat press it's just that i did speed it up just a little bit or else this video was going to be crazy long <laughs> now the final well some of the final touches are the mouths and it really makes it all come together but we're not done yet so please stick around now you guys crafters friends I really loved this DIY so much because it's really a reflection of how I've been feeling this month of June I really do feel Jesus hugging me through the pain through the tears through the anxiety that sometimes wants to sneak in but we just have to remember to cast all of our anxieties to Jesus because he cares for us so I hope this little DIY is a reminder of that to you and thanks so much to the creator of the original design which I have mentioned in the beginning of the video but I will mention her again and I will include her in the description below paint house oz if you just want the print you can order from her on etsy she also prints these on a canvas for you but i personally just wanted to do it myself on the cricut and just use the heat transfer vinyl which makes it kind of look like leather once it's all finished and it's all cooled off it gives it a different texture like i said i also wanted to paint this myself but i really wanted to use our cricut and i think it worked out lovely you guys and we're almost done and i don't think i've mentioned but we have been using this brown paper it's called teflon sheet for heat so i just wanted to mention that is what we're using 
do let me know what you guys think of this final look stick around to see what it looks like and there is no sealing necessary for this diy let me know if you would like to see me work with the different canvas the thicker canvas and i am loving it you guys i hope you receive a big hug from me and from jesus you guys are loved and you can get through anything you guys and i'd like to remind you of exodus 15 26 i am the lord who heals you he heals your heart today so please remember that let me know if you like this diy don't forget to push that like and if you are new don't forget to subscribe it really helps my channel now here is footage of my silly molly you guys this is literally what she was doing while i was trying to record Hey, Wally Wally. Ow. Are you a cat? Are you a cat? I just had to show you guys my baby girl who has brought so much healing. So thank you, God, for our furry babies that are like our children. Hey, no, don't bite that. And don't forget to comment below what you thought of this DIY. Let me know what gets you through grief. Or let me know if you'd just like to vent or send some words of encouragement to someone else who might be going through a tough situation. Thank you so much for crafting with me, you guys. And don't forget to say hi to Molly.